Yeah, that's the, the, the newbie gains we're talking about. This is an interesting concept to me because uh, you, like a person who doesn't train athletically, a person who doesn't lift, for example, when, when they learn correct lifting technique, like even if they don't put on any muscle, when they learn how to fix their posture and lift correctly, for example, doing the deadlift correctly, doing the squat correctly, it is alarming how their strength improves dramatically just from proper technique. And because essentially you're going from, I can't even lift a bar to, look, I can pull up actual weights now. This is amazing, right? What was I going to say? Let's, let's talk about judo for a minute. I feel like we're going all over the place, but you, you <laughs> practice judo. I know you, you, made, a, you made a video about, um, you, you used to practice Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but you made a pretty concrete switch to, to judo specifically. Um, why that change? Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So um, at 30 years old, that's when I started judo. Uh, sorry, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. And uh, so I did jiu-jitsu for, for six years. And then from there, what happened was that I lost my job. Mm. And, and at that time, I lost my job. And I'm like, I just bought a, I just bought a condo. And uh, I was lucky that the, it actually passed. Like the bank, I got the loan before the bank found out that I lost my job. Because yeah. I applied uh, a little bit uh, ahead of time. So then I lost my job. I'm like, man, I can't afford BJJ anymore. You know, I got to start, like, I got I to gotta tighten up my belt and, and, and you know, like, um, be yeah. more careful with my expenses. So then, but at my BJJ club, what happened was that um, <clears throat> I had a, a, a teammate who was, uh, who was a judoka. And he was giving classes. He was, he was giving classes. He was teaching at another, at a judo club. So he told me, he kind of recruited me because he saw that. Um, <clears throat> well, I figure what I'm trying to get at is that he we trained together, so he kind of knew like uh, how I was in terms of physical skill and all that. And he's like, "Why don't you come and try judo?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'd love to, man, but you know, like I, I just lost my job. I don't have any money." So he's like, "Hey, anyways, listen, I, I give uh, I give the classes there, so you don't need to pay. Just come." And that's how I got into judo. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, so that was that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and cause, cause he wanted me, like he, he saw, he saw something in me and he said, you'd be, you know, you'd be great at judo. Why don't you come train? And I'm like, well, I can't, I don't have money. He said, well, listen, it's, uh, just come and train and you'll pay when you get a job or whatever, you know? And, uh, and, and that, that's how it started. So I started judo at 36. Huh. That, that, that's interesting. Cause I think a lot of people, a lot of people tend to think of, um, judo as a much more violent high risk type of sport than brazilian jiu jitsu and i'm not sure it actually is and i think it's i think it's just because people are afraid of falling you know the the natural fear of falling so many brazilian jiu jitsu schools for example say oh we can't start on the feet because takedowns are too dangerous which i think is ridiculous because every jiu jitsu tournament starts on the feet even if you are a guard puller even if that's your whole game plan you need to learn how to do that starting from the feet because that's how tournaments start. 